Hey there, Deborah Donaldson here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about six different types of coaching. Now, coaching is something that can make a huge difference in your business. I highly recommend it. But what people don't realize is that there are a lot of different kinds of coaching, and so it's important that you know what you're getting when you sign up for coaching. So let's get going. So what are the six different types of coaching? Well, the ones that I've come across, I have listed here below. There's Facebook group coaching, short-term, lifetime, one-on-one, -on -one, interactive, and pre-recorded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each one and uh, kind of talk about the benefits and downsides to each one. So a Facebook group, many times when you join uh, what's called a high ticket affiliate marketing program or something that is more expensive, a lot of times one of the selling benefits is that you have a private Facebook group where you can get support and coaching. Now a lot of times, and this isn't for everybody, but a lot of times the coaching might actually be done more by other members in the group as opposed to the product owner. Or the product owner may just pop in periodically and you know provide some coaching or there might be some uh, units in the Facebook group that you go through uh, and get your coaching that way. Uh, a lot of times it is not quite so one-on-one -on -one or uh, if you ask a question in the Facebook groups one of the other people in the group might answer it. You may or may not get a response from the product owner. So those are some things to consider. It's always nice to have a private Facebook group where you can, you know, voice some questions, you know, provide support, be part of a community. That is very important. So I'm not trying to um, put that part of it down. But in terms of coaching, um, it's a little more passive. So you get the information and then you go work on it yourself. You may not get direct input on things that you are doing at that moment. So that's a Facebook group. Uh, another type of coaching is short term. So when you sign up for coaching, it's very important that you understand what you're getting with the coaching. If you signed up for short term coaching, typically it might be like a um, six week program or a three week program or a five day group uh, coaching program. So it's important that you understand what you're getting when you sign up for your coaching program. Short term typically is on a specific topic. This is what we're going to teach you in this short period of time. And while this program is going on, this is when you get your coaching. So that is short term coaching. Now, lifetime coaching uh, typically is for the lifetime of the product or <laughs> until the product owner decides that they just don't want to support it anymore. But there's no uh, set time limit. So it's not like, okay, well, you only get six weeks or something like that. You get lifetime support and coaching for your questions. And basically it is what it says. It says lifetime. Now, whether that coaching comes from the product owner or does that lifetime, is that lifetime access to a Facebook group coaching? Uh, anytime you're signing up for coaching, it's very important that you understand what it is that you're signing up for. So make sure you ask the questions that you need to ask in order to get your questions answered. Now another type of coaching is one-on-one -on -one, where you might hire someone uh, hey, I want, uh, and it could be short-term or lifetime one-on-one. -on -one. I'm sure with the lifetime, it's a lot more expensive. But typically the the one-on-one -on -one type coaching, it might be, you know, we meet uh, once a month or there might be a specific schedule. And what you would do is get your coaching, have time to work on it, and then get your next set of coaching. But you're working, you're working directly either with the product owner or with the coach to that program. And it's just one-on-one, -on -one, you can be on a Zoom call, you could be um, telephone, whatever whatever method, Skype, whatever method works for your for that program and what you, has been advertised for that program, that's what the one-on-one -on -one coaching is. And the one-on-one -on -one coaching, some of these are kind of combined because the one-on-one -on -one coaching can be interactive. It can be where you're on a Zoom call and you're looking at each other and you're talking to each other and you're interacting and uh, it's much more active. Um, one-on-one -on -one coaching could be, hey, this is your assignment for the week. I looked at your previous stuff. Here it is. You may not have any chance to uh, respond or 
it would just be the next time you would type up whatever you know you were working on or the changes you made and then get your input again so one-on-one -on -one may or may not be interactive but if it is interactive it's ideal because you can get immediate feedback to the things that you're doing and then pre-recorded is where there's a coaching session um, and it was recorded you can download it or or go back and re-watch the coaching over and over so with the six different types of coaching, I want to be clear that a lot of these are actually combined together. So you might get a Facebook group and one-on-one -on -one coaching or interactive and, and short-term or things like that. So one does not cancel out the other. All I'm trying to say is if you are signing up for coaching, make sure you understand what you are buying. Now, uh, I recently signed up for actually a couple of different kinds of coaching. Uh, to move my business forward and um, not only uh, with the thing that I did is not only do I have a Facebook group but I also have lifetime access I've got one-on-one -on -one coaching it's interactive it's also pre-recorded so if I can't make it it I can go back and watch the recording uh, and also an additional one that is short-term meaning that it's a six-week program so I get additional six-week coaching on that topic with one-on-one -on -one access with the coach for that program. So it's short-term, it's one-on-one, -on -one, uh, it is also interactive and pre-recorded. So um, I knew what I was getting when I signed up for this short-term intensive coaching program. But for the other coaching that I am a part of, basically... I get all six different types of coaching. So, you know, if I have a question, I can ask it in the Facebook group. Um, I can sign up for short-term different coaching programs. So if I wanted to learn a different traffic method or something like that, I can sign up for a short-term um, program there. I have lifetime access for joining. I have lifetime access to you know the recordings any recording uh, say a coaching session that I missed is recorded I can download it and keep it for as long as I need to um, so there's lifetime access I have uh, they just recently moved to zoom meetings so the coaching is more uh, interactive and one-on-one -on -one. so well not really one-on-one -on -one because there's everybody else in the group but there's inter it, it is interactive so you can respond to the coach on the call at the time and get immediate feedback for whatever is holding you back or preventing you from moving forward in your business. And then uh, the, the program, I'm also getting one-on-one -on -one coaching. So I've got access through um, Vax, Voxer for one-on-one -on -one contact. I get uh, recorded, I get my webinars where I have my contact. And it's one-on-one -on -one access. I can say this is what's going on and I'll get a fast response back in terms of what I might need to do in order to have more success with my business. And with all of these, they're all pre -record they're not pre-recorded, they are recorded so that I can um, go back and watch them over and over or if there's a question that I have, I can review it again. Uh, I misread that earlier, pre-recorded. Some coaching sessions will be pre-recorded uh, and then just put in like the Facebook group saying, okay, this is unit one, this is unit two, this is unit three. Those are all pre-recorded and they're available for you to watch, meaning they're not in real time. So um, those are the six different types of coaching. I hope you found this to be helpful. If you have any questions on coaching, make sure you uh, put those in the description below. I'd love to come back and uh, do any additional videos and answer any questions you might have. Now, coaching can be really, really difficult for some people. And the reason for that is that a coach is really going to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Now, uh, as I said in the video, I'm a, I'm a member of a couple of different, I'm getting coaching in a couple of different areas because I'm very motivated on getting my business uh, to the next level. So one of the things that can be difficult, but it is also good, is hearing that you're not on the right track or 
that you're not going about things in the right way. And if a coach is worth his or her weight in gold or salt or whatever that saying is, they're going to tell you what you need to hear, whether or not it's going to make them popular in your eyes or whether you're going to like like it or like them, uh, that they're not just easing your ego with telling you what you think you want to hear, which really isn't going to progress your business. You need to know what is going on that you can improve to actually grow your business. So uh, there is a conflict there because in the coaching you want to hear, oh, you're doing so much better. You know, I see big progress. You're doing things the right way. You're, you know, all this woohoo, positive stuff, which is awesome to hear. But on the other hand, just hearing that is not going to help me grow my business. And sometimes it can be hard to hear about the things that you really need to work on. So like today, I heard that I was getting um, a little too scattered or, um, you know, I was hearing that other people in the group were progressing faster than me. And so, you know, trying to figure out what was going on and that I, you know, am getting caught in the shiny object thing syndrome again. So those kind of things are hard to hear but that's what I needed to hear in order to grow my business. So uh, just keep that in mind. Coaching, they are gonna tell you uh, a coach that's worth it or really knows what they're doing is gonna tell you what you need to know, not just try and make you feel good and tell you what you wanna hear. So keep that in mind when you're coaching and really take what they say and implement because these you're, you hired this person as a coach for a reason. They're doing better than you. They are where you want to be. And so, you know, follow what they're doing. There's no point in reinventing the wheel. And they, because they've done it, can provide direction on how to do it again. So make sure you follow your coach's um, advice. Make sure that you are open and coachable. Sometimes it can be hard. I will admit that. And, uh, Let's get your business to the next level. Get that coach that you need and uh, work on growing your business and taking it where it needs to be.